Right now at 530, we know that COVID-19 vaccines have been developed really at record speeds. And now local researchers are trying to get a better understanding of how long immunity to COVID lasts and the impact age plays. As Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal explains, this research could impact generations to come. Why is it as we age that we uh, respond less well to uh, infection and we respond less well to vaccination? It's the fundamental question researchers at Yukon Health and the Jackson Lab in Farmington are trying to understand. How does aging impact responsiveness to the different COVID-19 vaccines? So scientists are now taking a closer look at how people respond to the COVID vaccine over time. A deep insight into both how their immune systems were before being exposed to the vaccine and then how they responded to the vaccine. Researchers at the two institutions are teaming up and looking for relatively healthy people over the age of 21 who haven't had COVID and haven't been vaccinated yet, but plan on getting vaccinated soon. Over the course of two months, scientists will ask participants questions and draw blood, measuring the production of antibodies. That'll be measured at different points after participants have been vaccinated. We need to make sure that we have enough participants um, to, to really answer the key questions. We also need to have diversity. For several years, the Yukon Center on Aging and the Jackson Laboratory for Genomic Medicine have been answering questions regarding the impact of age on the immune system. With this new study, they're now digging deeper into how long COVID immunity lasts, as well as the type and quality of immune responses. One of the whole problem with this virus is that the immunity seems to vain, to disappear, making us sensitive to potential reinfection. Dr. Jacques Banchereau and Dr. George Cushell say this is a pilot study in the initial stages, and the plan is for this to become a much larger study. The results could impact generations to come. The information that we, 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 we can gain from this is going to be vitally important in terms of uh, approaching not just this pandemic, but also, also the next one. In Farmington, Aya Galau, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.